This interactive simulation demonstrates the behavior due to vapor liquid equilibrium and material balances for a flash drum. And so in the bottom right corner here, showing a representation, we're feeding, in this case, 100 moles per second. The mole fraction is 0.5, so that's represented here on the yx diagram, plotting mole fraction of vapor phase on the y-axis, the mole fraction of liquid phase on the x-axis. That's what this curve is. This curve is just a y equals x line. And we're showing here some of the feed leaves as vapor. So we're feeding a liquid. Some leaves it a vapor, some leaves it a liquid, and we're showing the mole fractions. Some important things to note about the yx diagram is each point on this diagram corresponds to a different temperature. So for a mole fraction of 0.2 at, remember this is a constant pressure now, to have a mole fraction of vapor phase of 0.45, that corresponds to a temperature that we can read off by adjusting these values. So it's 78.6 degrees, mole fraction of liquid phase of 0.41 is equilibrium with a mole fraction of vapor phase of 0.69. And so this simulation allows you to change the liquid vapor ratio. And notice the slope of this line is this ratio of liquid to vapor with a minus sign. It also allows you to change the Z value, the feed. And it shows the behavior on both the YX or XY diagram and on a TXY diagram. And then there's an option to see both of them smaller next to each other so you can get a direct comparison. So let's look at the interactive simulation to understand what it's being demonstrated for a flash drum. So here is the interactive simulation. If I change the ratio of liquid to vapor, leaving the flash drum, then to satisfy mass balances, to obtain that ratio for the given feed composition, I have different values of the mole fractions and a, a different temperature. And it's a little easier to visualize this if we look at this diagram. So we're fixing the feed composition, in this case 0.5. This is a methanol water mixture. And then we're specifying the liquid to vapor ratio. And that fixes the L and V values, and that means on a TXY diagram, because we're at a fixed pressure, that means we only have one point where we can have overall mole fraction 0.5 and have a liquid to vapor mole ratio of 4.8. If we change that ratio, keeping ZM constant, then of course we have to change the temperature to satisfy the criteria. We're just using essentially the lever rule here. And of course that also changes on the XY diagram. But notice as I change a point, the temperature, so each point on this XY diagram corresponds to a different temperature. I can change also the feed concentration. And of course that's going to change what our outlet conditions are. So we're specifying in this case what's the liquid to vapor ratio and what's the feed composition. And then the simulation allows us to compare. And let's make it a little easier to visualize here. It allows us to compare the two graphs so we get a better understanding of how they're related to each other. Keep in mind both of them are at a fixed pressure and we're basically satisfying vapor liquid equilibrium which is what the curves are, and we're satisfying mass balances. Then the idea is we're modeling this flash drum at a given fixed pressure.